What's going on YouTube? Modeling that back at you with another build update. This is, I believe, part three in the uh, B17 uh, vignette series. So, uh, start off with start off with the base. So, got that uh, laid down with a uh, couple of coats of the stain, and then went ahead and cleared it. The one thing, if you're going to get these, um, I didn't do it on this, and you can obviously see that, um, I would suggest doing is getting like an orbital sander or something like that and just sanding this top down. Um, just because with the milling that this goes through and stuff like that, you get a lot of striations. Uh, you mill that down, or sorry, you sand that down with an orbital sander, you'll get rid of all of that. But uh, overall, I think it'll look fine on the end. Also got the bottom on, so what this is, is a piece of fabric from an old pool table. Um, instead of tossing it, got a hold of a local shop that uh, you know does pool tables and stuff like that. Sprayed some Scotch Super 77 spray adhesive on the back, pasted it down, then using a super sharp pair of scissors. Um, these things are absolutely amazing. Um, Go ahead and try to get that into the shot here for you. Uh, they are still available. They are extremely expensive. Um, but if you pick them up, I would definitely also suggest picking up the sharpener. These things, uh, my dad used to work in a rubber manufacturing plant uh, that made like seals and stuff like that. And he got a bunch of these when the plant closed. They are just kind of giving away all the old stock. These things were designed to cut through rubber and metal at the same time so these things are just absolutely amazing so um, if you don't have those I'd suggest it um, when I was cutting it out here getting the base finished up did nick it a little bit but I don't think it'll be that bad that's gonna be the back side the blind side anyway so looks pretty good so I'll set that up and out of the way just keeps it from really clanking down uh, after kind of going back and forth, I decided to go ahead and go with a brown for this. So the color that I went with uh, was this tea color uh, from AK. I uh, definitely understand it's a Japanese color, so it's kind of an irony that I'm using that. But I actually like the brown color, and I think it'll look really good and uh, paired up against the bottom here. It'll stand out, but yet still look fairly normal. Uh, you might notice that the curve here I don't have completely covered. Again, don't need to because when I get this glued on you won't see it anyway. So uh, I got those ready to go. Also, um, got the floors painted. Uh, they're all three uh, pretty much all ready to go here. I'll show you one of the other little sides. And all this was hit with uh, tonight was, I believe, actually I apologize, I grabbed the wrong one down. Uh, it was um, Mr. Color 310, uh, which is brown uh, FS30219, uh, which is normally for an F4. But it's just that good kind of medium wood tone um, and stuff like that, just as the initial. Uh, what I'm planning on doing next is using the Paneline Accent Color, uh, really wide brush, or possibly some acrylic paints, um, or sorry, not acrylic, but oil paints, thinned down very heavily uh, just to create more of a wash to get into all of the uh, into all of the wood grain texture and stuff like that, just to kind of give it that sense of wood. Uh, also got the interior color done. Uh, for that, I did use. Uh, the U.S. interior, yellow-green, this was much too bright for my liking, so I went ahead and hit it with a little bit of 304, just to kind of dull it down a little bit, um, and stuff like that. I'm also going to hit this with some weathering as well, try to darken it up a little bit, because this just looks too... Uh, the camera makes it look more yellowish-green than what it looks like in person, but it still doesn't quite look 100% right to me. Um, so hit it with some weathering and stuff like that. Got the outside paint colors down. So, um, try to get some of that dust off here from laying it down, but, um, used, uh, 12 and 13 from Mr. Color, uh, for the gray and the green. Have seen a couple of other builds. I think what I'm going to do is probably try to paint, 
uh, it's going to try to stencil paint the star like it would have been from 43 uh, without the bar on it and butt that up to here but need to double check a couple of references before I do that but we got the green all in there like I said weathering will come next uh, we then also have the window pretty much ready to go the interior color and the exterior all ready as well so um, definitely doesn't look like a lot but uh, for anybody who's done a lot of painting and stuff like that, uh, you know, shifting colors and stuff like that, it was uh, definitely a night of a lot of pipettes getting used up and put into the uh, trash. But overall, I'm enjoying the way that this one's coming out, uh, looking really pretty good so far into the build. So um, you can see I did go ahead and scribe in some lines. Um, you can really see it pronounced here. Not my best work. Um, it's an art that I'm still learning and trying to figure out how to do best. Um, so, um, but I did also go ahead and get the rivets in there. So you can catch it in just the right light. Let's see if it might pick up here. There you go. So the rivet wheel, got that in. So it's very faint, very subtle in some spots, but I think in the end it will make the exterior look a whole lot better uh, when you look at it from the blind side. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this segment, or uh, sorry, this build series here. And I'm going to be trying to get the figures painted up here in the next couple of days. And actually should have this completed, uh, if not by the end of September, probably the first week of October. So moving along quite nicely. Uh, again, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.